good day to all. I am Dr. Tawa, the Chief Editor of Proofreading by UK PhD. So today I'll be sharing something on techniques to avoid uh, PhD depression. Before um, I start sharing um, everything about these techniques that I've personally formulated based on my personal experience, um, let me share a bit about what is Proofreading by UK PhD. So um, you can find us at fb.com Proofreading by PhD. Uh, we have over 17,000 followers. The first um, element within these techniques to avoid PhD depression is to communicate effectively with your supervisor. Um, in short, we're going to call it SV. First of all, the most important thing here, um, it's important for us to not simply tell your SV that you don't know how to do something. That's very, very important. So you have to avoid saying that you don't know how to do something or you got no time or couldn't find a solution. See, those are all parts and parcels of your PhD. So you need to sort that out very well. For example, if you don't know something, you don't need to go to your supervisor and say, I don't know how to, how to do this, I really don't know. So instead of that, you can, you, can, you can try this approach. You can go to your supervisor, you can say, hi, hi prof, I have this one problem. Um, I have read all these papers and let me explain. See, person A had done this based on this paper. Um, person B had actually reported this based on the second paper. This is just an example. Perhaps, can we do this? Um, what do you think? You know, yeah, so, so that, that, that puts you in a more uh, better position, uh, in, a, in a more independent uh, position. So, so that creates a better perspective for your supervisor towards you. Uh, or sorry, a better opinion towards you. Um, so see, the approach here is different. Um, you don't know something, but you are trying. You are demonstrating that you're an independent researcher. The keyword here is independent researcher. That only requires guidance. You don't need to, him to actually, um, him or her to tell you that you need to do this or you need to try this out and so on. You have already showed to him, you have demonstrated, then you can do it on your own. You know, he doesn't need to give you everything on a silver platter. So this is another keyword is initiative. So always practice a strategy when you deal with humans. That's very important. So your approach, how you're gonna tell how you're gonna tell your supervisor that you don't know something. So this is an alternative approach to tell him. So perhaps you'll have more, he'll be motivated to help you, to guide you. Thank you very much for listening to my uh, key techniques to avoid PhD depression. It's very important to have a very smooth PhD journey. And also you can follow us in a lot of, uh, in, in many um, social medias, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter and so on. Um, so I wish you all the best. Thank you very much.